also alongside Shinei coming to Genshin, we also have Yunjin, a very interesting looking character that could further propel Geo to be a great element in Genshin Impact. So Yunjin is going to be a 4 star Geo Polearm user and is looking to fill that sort of support role with her array of useful buffs and a shield as well. So let's take a closer look at her abilities and where she might fit into a party. So her elemental skill has two different versions, the press and the hold version. Press will have her simply deal some Geo damage with her spear but her hold version is where it gets interesting. So it states that Yunjin will take the whirling opener stance and form a shield that absorbs elemental damage and physical damage 150% more effectively and that this damage absorption is based on Yunjin's maximum HP and finally when the shield duration is over or it breaks it will deal geo damage based on the energy absorbed. So this is really nice as characters with shields are always so useful especially in the end game shields are almost needed to negate a lot of the damage incoming. And so depending on how good the shield is at absorbing damage Yunjin could be a great shielder to include in your parties. Now the only sort of issue about this is that for the Geo element we already have Jean Li who has the best shield in the game so it may make this a bit redundant. However obviously if you don't possess Jean Li then Eugen could be a great alternative. But now not only does she possess a shield that also has an interesting burst that could differentiate her from just being a shield bot. So her elemental burst has her first dealing some AoE damage around her but then gives to all her party members the flying cloud flag formation buff. So this buff states that whenever a party member deals normal attack damage to opponents, bonus damage is inflicted based on Yunjin's current defense stat. So this ability is going with the usual trend of Geo characters ability scaling off of defense and looks pretty good. So while the scaling of the ability remains to be seen, additional damage to your allies attacks is always a good buff to have, especially with Ito coming out who's going to be attacking a lot, this could be very valuable for him. But now overall these abilities are looking pretty damn good and a great addition to some of the Geo teams out there, especially with the influx of Geo characters coming out. Other important things to note about her is her passive talents. So her second one states that whenever you use her elemental skill at the moment that Yunjin is about to be hit by an attack, she will unleash its level 2 whole charge form. And so what does this remind you of? That's right, Beidou and her sort of counter attack mechanic. So this is pretty cool, I've, I've always enjoyed these mechanics as it makes it much more fun to play than just to face throw the keyboard like some other characters. So it's nice to have a bit more complexity when playing Genshin. But now does she look worth it to summon for? I, I'd say yes. Now most people are probably going to be summoning for Shinhei anyway so they're going to get Yunjin regardless but for some people who are just looking to pick up the newest 4 star, I'd say it's definitely worth it just based on her abilities as like many other supports in the game they often are still useful well into the game's lifespan compared to main dps who will unfortunately fall off due to the power creep in the game and how newer main dps just become stronger and stronger and stronger now personally i'm going to be summoning for shinhei or hopefully if i have enough primo gems after ito so i'm probably going to get yunjin anyways so hopefully she'll become a great addition to some of my teams but how about you will you summon for yunjin let me know down in the comment section. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.